Hey guys, well, now that I'm back in the shop after uh, the great uh, survival weekend, I wanted to take a couple minutes to do a uh, gear review, see how our equipment that we made has held up. So, let me just grab that. So our backpack. I was uh, really impressed with, um, honestly, like since I never did anything like this before, I was impressed with the stitch. The the stitching uh, held up perfectly. There's nothing loose, and I had a, probably about um, a good 20, 30 pounds in this. Uh, so the only thing that's loose here that could be maybe reinforced. You see how there's the string here, um, but it didn't seem. It, it seemed to be like that right away. It didn't seem to move. So. I don't know, I don't think I have to be too worried about it, but anyways, that'd be pretty easy to just uh, do another round of stitches uh, on the exterior, let's say, and, and get that real tight. So that, instead of uh, a stitch failing, it looks more like I just didn't do it tight enough. Uh, so both of these stitches are, are still very, very tight. They didn't move at all. Uh, the bottom, which also has quite a bit of pressure, uh, did not seem to... Uh, yeah, like that's that's as tight as I put it when I initially there's no tearing uh, even the water bottle here I was kind of scared about this uh, this this part here it didn't seem to move at all so the bison leather is really really tough uh, so all in all I mean the weight distribution too was another thing that I was worried about the straps since I never designed any straps before that like the, the, the there's uh, definitely a an aspect of distance and um, and height and uh, how long the straps were and I don't like honestly uh, I was very comfortable carrying the bag the whole time the only thing that I'd like to add would be a uh, hip uh, just a, a hip belt so that it distribute a bit more of the weight on the hips but uh, really I was comfortable the whole the whole time I didn't mind carrying it for uh, several hours uh, in a row uh, the next thing I like to look at for so all together the backpack for review uh, it was it worked great I mean I'm very satisfied with the uh, first attempt for uh, for a leather backpack uh, I'm gonna go pick up the oil I'm gonna treat the the outside so it make it a bit more um, uh, water resistant but so the next piece of equipment, really the only the only piece of equipment that we were allowed to bring, was our axe, and I was extremely impressed. I mean, wasn't surprised because it's uh, uh, Granfers and Brooks. So, I mean, these are renowned to be uh, the best axes that you can buy. Uh, the only thing coming close uh, is the Wetterlings, and that one I'll I'll be taking out in a bit. So. The edge retention on this, I was extremely impressed. We, uh, you saw the shelter that we built. I, I'm so happy that I chose to bring this instead of my knife because once we start building that shelter, man, uh, having someone with an axe in the group was just a uh, godsend. So it was, it was so much faster. Um, one piece of uh, of uh, utility that really came in handy was this guard that we made. Uh, you see here. It got hit pretty hard. Um, I was getting tired, and I just missed. A, I just missed my swing, and, I, and it really banged hard on this guard. And if I move this, and you look at the wood, that is just there's just nothing. So I completely protected the axe. Something hit that uh, uh, that would have hit that hard on the shaft would have uh, at least dented, if not cracked, the handle. So uh, instead, the leather took it. I might have to replace this now, but I mean, it took it only took me 10, 15 minutes to make. So really satisfied with this product. Um, yeah, like I said, the the edge retention on this, I was able to use it for uh, three, four hours and. The edge started getting dull, but I mean, I just sat down with my sharpening store, my DC4, and five, not even like two minutes, and uh, my edge was back and I kept on working. One thing, uh, if you guys can see this, I did get careless in my tiredness. I uh, started chopping, uh, I wanted to get as much wood processed as possible, and I started chopping um, uh, like branches or trees, whatever, right from on off the ground, which is a huge no-no. So now I chipped 
I chipped the edge there, so I'm gonna have to regrind this part. So that's not a you know not a huge deal because since since we've got our our belt grinder now, uh, I can do that quite quickly. So uh, extremely satisfied with this little hatchet. Um, that it was nice weight. I was able to to uh, uh, wield it for the full four hours, and I'm not someone that's used to uh, chopping wood on a daily basis so for me it was it was great it worked out it was perfect to build a shelter um, if I was splitting if I had to split firewood which would be a lot more cuts uh, this like it like it's known like a, it's a hatch is not made not made to uh, to cut up uh, 30 cords of, uh, of wood it's just uh, but it was perfect just to chop up the pieces the long pieces for the shelter it really helped to make the job a lot faster so uh, another part of the gear, my poncho. I bought this alpaca poncho. You guys saw it in the in the video, um, off of uh, Etsy. It's actually handmade uh, alpaca wool, so a hand stitch, whatever. Um, so some people find find it odd that I choose a poncho. It looks. Uh, it, some people commented that it looked funny, um, but honestly. It's very versatile because of the way that it's shaped. I'm gonna put this camera up. So, when it comes to bushcraft, I like every single one of uh, every every equipment that I bring uh, needs to so uh, to to pro like to have multiple uses. So the, because of the sh the way that it's shaped. It's a straight, wide square that is as tall as I am with just a hood in the middle with a hole. That's it. So because of this, I can roll it up and I can use this as a blanket. I can also fold it in half and use it to sit on. I can use it as um, to put my equipment on the ground uh, and I can tell you in the morning, when I got out of that, that sleeping bag at uh, minus three uh, Celsius, the heat was just coming out of all of my clothes. And I had good clothes. I had a good uh, the soft shell uh, with the uh, wool uh, uh, hoodie underneath and a uh, another T-shirt underneath that. Uh, I had uh, synthetic long johns with uh, with a good pair of pants. And, but the second I got out of that sleeping bag, the heat was just coming off me. I was feeling the cold coming down to my bones. And I got this out. I wrapped myself in it. And the second I uh, wrapped myself, and it's not that thick. It's, it's actually extremely thin. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> but anyway. The second I wrapped myself with this, uh, with this poncho, uh, the heat just... I felt I felt comforted right away that extra layer and uh, the 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 real wool. It's amazing how much it performs. So for the for the weight and the size and the versatility of this thing, I love this. Um, my sleeping bag has been, is a couple of years old. I'm going to need, need to get a new one because it did not perform uh, to my liking. It's a minus five Celsius bag, but. Um, it just, uh, I was cold a bit. So it, 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 I'm the one that was pushing it to the limit, but uh, I really, if I, I really want to do a bit, a couple more um, excursions this winter. Uh, it's gonna be going down to minus 20, minus 30, uh, and I really want to test out some of our extreme shelters. So if I'm going to be doing that in a, a lot colder weather, I am going to have to invest in a better um, sleeping bag. Anything else? Um, this bitty bag. I used this bitty bag on the exterior of my uh, of my sleeping bag. Let's see if I still have the wrapping here, so that you can see the company. This was just a couple of bucks. Uh, Sol, Sol baby sack, bivouac. Yeah, emergency bivy. So these things are supposed to retain the heat. Um, 
I honestly don't know if I if I noticed the difference with that around it. I one thing I, I really did notice is that when I uh, when I went to remove it the next morning, it was completely soaked in the inside. Because it does, it retains the heat. It also, it does not breathe. So all of the condensation from my body heat was lining up in the inside, and it was it was really soaking uh, my sleeping bag. I didn't notice it at all when I was in it, and my clothes was not wet when I got out so I don't know how that works <laughs> but the beads of, of water were, were uh, accumulating inside the, the baby sack so um, I'm not going to do that again uh, it, it seems extremely dangerous in uh, ex like extreme low temperatures so um, it might be great to carry around a day pack if you have if you don't have a, uh, uh, a sleeping bag that, and I think that's what it's designed for. It's to, if you don't have a sleeping bag and you're caught out in the woods and you need to, to, to be able to, ha to have something to keep warm, uh, then yeah, that probably make more sense. Um, so that's it. I mean, all in all, the equipment performed to, to, uh, uh, to its design. Yeah, I'm very satisfied with the equipment that I've gotten now. Uh, I haven't had the chance to really put my Bushman to the test since, uh, or this, or this nice Jeep, um, since the guide had told us to, uh, to bring the minimum. And I, the same thing for, uh, our, our, uh, custom blade. We haven't had the chance to, uh, really take this out and field test it yet, but, uh, soon enough. So that's it. That's your gear gear review. The, as uh, as I go out in the field and uh, and try out some new things, I'll uh, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on uh, how this things works works out. Thanks a lot.